Hi friends, welcome back again my YouTube channel. We call it Do It New. Uh, today our objective is how to comparison with the ground spectra and uh, end member spectra. End member means uh, standard library spectra. So uh, let's we do the practical here. Follow me. So first type uh, I show you the exactly the uh, spectral radiometer uh, spectral signature. Actually I have the hundred uh, location sample spectral signature. So now. Uh, first step we learn this practical session is a step by step first step uh, we just searching in the toolbox just you can type here the spectral library builder step first just click on that you can see here the first input spectrum which input spectrum those we we have uh, ESD uh, spectra just click on ok import that spectra because of I have the ESD binary file we have the various options we go with the ESD binary files and uh, select that directory so I'll sample this is 100 sample all 100 sample select all and uh, open it you can see here that this is a uh, all 100 soil samples just click on color box right click and uh, default the color all bands we are seeing the plot of all uh, 100 soil sample spectra is loading here now uh, we just create the spectral signature here just select the directory to the file name giving the extension dot sli just open it and uh, click on ok we are creating here the spectral library next step is reflectance data just open that you can see here the, this is the hyperion data and just select the reflectance file that is reflectance file how i created this file you can see my previous video you understand well just open it you can see here the all data uh, just minimize these two just close it we you can see here the spectral analyst just search in the Google toolbox just enter on that just open it uh, spectral analysis uh, uh, input spectral library uh, we need to here the just load the UHS in uh, spectral library it means in member spectral library uh, already your NV software having existing otherwise you can download online also so you can see here go to the open button click on that spectral library and uh, where is install your NV select on that uh, particular directory you go with here uh, classic and uh, you can see here the spectral library including the package of the NV uh, software you can see here the UHS uh, mineral spectral library JPL JHU so we go with UHS mineral library click on open this is a UHS spectral library it is having the 481 spectral you can see here the inside of that uh, spectral signature okay we are close it this one now you can uh, select here the UHS mineral spectra click on ok and uh, now to uh, see the three uh, different methods spectral angle mapper spectral feature fitting and uh, binary encoding this first method you can see here spectral angle mapper it is a show the spectral signature variation between the spectral ground collected spectra as well as uh, standard spectral library we call it a member and then uh, spectral feature fitting it is a least square method so and then uh, last one is a binary encoding uh, binary encoding the convert the reference uh, value uh, 0 to 1 so just you can select here the first one spectral uh, angle mapper is create the 1 1 and just putting here the 1 1 value and just ok and uh, apply you can see here the our 100 soil sample uh, data is coming we are selecting one anyone just click on ok and you can see here that we got the result of uh, end member spectra and uh, your uh, fields uh, collected spectra so but uh, here is having the problem because of the score overall score of this uh, soil sample it is the value is same no change in between so uh, first i show you the both value are coming here just click on any spectra you can see here this is my uh, field spec uh, device the uh, spectral radiometer spectral signature and this is a end member spectra how we easy understand just load the legend you can see here uh, this one uh, geosite uh, dot 
SPC. So you can see here this is a end member spectral signature and uh, that one is a straight line you can see here and uh, our spectral signature soil sample 24 so I was uh, my collected soil sample but here result is not matching uh, because of the uh, not value are proper coming here so problem is here so exactly how solve this problem uh, that's the most important uh, objective in our practical so just uh, be concentrate focus follow me we close this one and this minimize okay. so just we resampling here go to the toolbox search paste uh, type here spectral resampling and you can select here the spectral resampling and uh, next this is the next step actually so select uh, uhs uh, standard library and uh, click on ok you can select here the input data uh, input data because of the we are selecting here the uhs uh, mineral spectral signature library and select the particular direct resampling dot sli just open it and uh, click on ok then you can select here the reflectance uh, file just click on uh, that uh, flash reflectance file uh, hyperion data just click on ok and uh, you can see here resampling uhs mineral resampling spectral signature is loading your viewer so just you can see and uh, this is a uhs mineral resampling library same spectral signature in between having okay just close it so next step is uh, already i was downloaded the spectral ground spectral signature you can see this is a hundred uh, soil sample uh, spectral signature so we create the one library here i was already show you but again i will be uh, do the uh, complete this process select all go to the file save as plot select the spectral library file and uh, putting here the, some information about the uh, just type here the wavelength value reflectance scale is 1.000 and wavelength unit is a nanometer and uh, save that uh, reflectance particular location give the file name field uh, data library to because already i was created so that's why I give the name like that ok open and i click on ok you can see here uh, field uh, de spectral library is also loading here you can see here the spectral signature and uh, resampling spectral signature also loading here ok so we just close it minimize this one again uh, we do the same process uh, resampling search in the uh, just type the toolbox and uh, spectral resampling click on uh, that and uh, you can see here the field data uh, library i was created just click on that ok and uh, input that data and give the file name of the just select on resampling to ok just click on ok again same uh, add here the reflectance file click on ok same process we are doing uh, two times so do not confuse because of one time we are creating here the uh, end member spectral library so resampling again and uh, second time uh, our ground data so you can see here this is a standard library resampling this is our uh, field spec for uh, data library and then that same library we resampling that and on that reflectance just close it now uh, next step is a uh, uh, spectral library we were we, uh, we need just type here in toolbox you just open the spectral library viewer you can see here uh, 
open that directory where your data is saved uh, and just click on the spectral library you can see here uh, spectral library resampling data fill data resampling uh, but it is not seen here because of i am not giving the extension that's why just select here the spectral data library uh, to uh, resampling just click on ok and uh, select any one of that just click and uh, you can see here uh, this is a spectral signature uh, by creating the my by me uh, this one is my uh, library spectral signature so go to the import and uh, load the resampling spectral signature open and select anyone and give them uh, wavelength unit is a nanometer and uh, wavelength unit same nanometer ok so it is our resample and normal uh, spectral signature you can see uh, now next step is uh, we analyze of that uh, spectral signature with the uh, end member spectra so just we go to spectral analyst just click on that uh, just close this one because of this is older and now uh, we are selecting here the uhs resampling spectral signature ok and the uh, same process we are doing here already uh, three different methods click on ok and apply uh, any one sample we are using here and uh, you can see here uh, this is uh, our result so uh, we easy uh, to understand you can see here the value score is uh, all spectral uh, minerals having the change so spectral angle mapper spectral uh, speed, feature fitting binary encoding all three methods are with a variation about that spectral signature just double click on that spectral signature you understand this is the end member spectra just add the legion just minimize this one so you understand easy you want to change the soil sample just click on apply button because of the already resample we are doing the practical on that just resample that uh, signature okay and you can see here uh, again the score of this is a change you can see here standard spectral signature and uh, soil spectral signature matching so you can see uh, the match of the end member spectral signature uh, as well as your you create a spectral signature so here uh, we are doing uh, the correlation between the ground uh, data and uh, with the standard spectral signature hope you guys enjoy in this practical sessions and uh, easy to understand i will try more uh, end member spectral signature or correlation between uh, ground data hope you enjoy uh, we are stop here because of uh, this video is taking the more time so any difficulties you will be face uh, for doing the practical session you comment uh, me on a comment box i'll be definitely help you on my level thank you sometime i give the uh, late response but i'll be give thank you bye bye see you